in this video we are going to create another intersection uh, this time we are creating a, another intersection at a uh, four lane junction so here we will maintain the primary road crown as well as adding a turning lane so in this uh, tutorial i am using the uh, tutorial file which is intersection create to in this location so we will start how to do this exercise uh, as i told you earlier you can uh, see these uh, manual steps in the uh, relevant tutorial file in autodesk uh, tutorials otherwise you can go to help and go to tutorials and find this location now uh, we are going to create this intersection so i will place the other uh, tutorials related to this video in the description uh, section uh, in youtube so now i am going to create the intersection i go to home tab and i go to intersections and go to create intersection and i will catch this intersection point using object snaps otherwise you can press shift key on your keyboard then right click and then go to intersection and catch this intersection point i click there then it is asking what is the primary road so our primary road will be road a so i will select this to get the primary road so we will uh, it will open the create intersection wizard so we will maintain the primary road crown that means your primary road will be as it is and the connection or the road B will be connecting to the uh, road edges as the uh, intersection uh, when you are creating the corridor. So we will set up primary crown maintain. Then you go to uh, next. Then you have the uh, geometry details of uh, roads. So you can, we will first set the offset parameters. So I go to offset parameters uh, here we have to set road a parameters offset value or lane width as 6 meters then we will uh, not change the road b parameters they will be stay as it is with 3 meter offset from uh, either side of the center line and make sure you have checked this option create new offsets from start to end of center lines so they will click ok then you go to curb return parameters in here what we do is we will add a turning lane so first we will set up the northeast otherwise uh, this quadrant northeast quadrant so we will add a uh, outgoing turning lane to this section so this depends on the uh, traveling direction in your country so in here we are uh, thinking as traveling on the uh, left side of the road so first for the northeast quadrant we will have a uh, outgoing widening lane then you click next here for southeast quadrant quadrant we will use uh, turning lane to the incoming road then for the southwest there will be a turning lane to the out, uh, widening lane to the outgoing road and finally to northwest we will have a turning road to the incoming road so uh, turning lane to the incoming road so we will click ok then so we will get the uh, curb return parameters make sure you have created offset uh, that means you have to check this create offset and curb return profiles uh, in here you can set up the uh, super elevation values for each road so if you have a, a specified super elevation in this area so i'll not i'm going with the default values here then i click next here so it will give us the chance to create the corridor uh, currently we don't have any corridor so you can't add this corridor to existing corridor so definitely we have to create a new corridor so for the daylight we will be using the existing ground then you, here you have to select the sub assembly set for import 
in this section we are using the sub assembly set as uh, autodesk metric sub assembly set you can find it usually in this location program date c program data autodesk civil 3d 2020 in my case and the new folder then assemblies metric there yeah, you have uh, assembly metric uh, set for this uh, intersection creation wizard so in that file they have specified a set of sub assemblies used uh, which will be used to create this intersection so i will click open so if you need to set up a separate uh, intersection in separate assembly you can you do it from here so you can use a separate assembly if you need in your drawing if you have a separate assembly you can set it to that so after that we will uh, click create intersection so your intersection will be created so i am getting some uh, notifications because of uh, the change of a uh, uh, file path but uh, it will not affect the design it will be created it's only an information message so now you can see my uh, intersection with widening or incoming widening or outgoing widening lanes are created here uh, so uh, that is about creating the intersection with the uh, turning lane or widening lane with the, the primary road crown maintained so in the next video we will look at another method of creating intersection uh, and after that we will look at how to edit the intersections how to edit the uh, intersection geometry edit the profile and edit the corridor so all related videos will be uh, listed under the description of the uh, video you can find them and you can easily move to that relevant video